Hack Week Day 6. Let's go. Alright guys, this is B Shul and I'm going to be doing uh, Pack Week Day 6. Now, uh, as you can tell by the video, this is going to be a continued pack and basically what that means is I'm going to uh, update this pack as the uh, different versions of Minecraft come in. If there are new items that I want to edit, then I'll edit uh, based on the theme of the pack. Uh, pretty much uh, another twist I want to add to here is uh, I want to, this, this pack is still a work in progress because I want this uh, pack to be kind of, uh, you know, similar to Zephyr's where it's HG themed and it has all those cool items and things. It's just I don't really have a creative mind and I'm uh, basically, uh, you know, looking up for you guys to do that for me. So pretty much uh, down in the comments after you watch this entire video, f uh, see everything that I I've changed so far, uh, comment down some improvements I could make, like um, the hotbar I haven't changed yet. Uh, give me some ideas for the hotbar. What should I do for the hotbar? And things like that. So let's just go ahead and uh, straight on to the pack. Uh, as you can see, these are the swords right here. I did make these uh, all from default. So there you go. Now, uh, the iron sword and the diamond sword are pretty much identical because those are the uh, two most uh, mainly used uh, swords in the game. Uh, once you get them, they're pretty much the strongest, so I uh, might as well make them look nice. And then as for the other swords, uh, not so much because the stone sword, obviously everybody uses it. It gets worn very easily, so as you can tell, that's why there's that little dent in it. Uh, wooden sword, it gets a dent very easily. It also breaks really fast, so uh, that's why it has two dents. And then the gold sword, it has three dents and it makes it look all brittle and things like that. So let's just go ahead and toss those out. Uh, the soup is basically just a fat soup, a fat bowl, and uh, just has the uh, mushroom ingredients inside of it, kind of to go with the theme with the Zephyrs. And then uh, potions, I did make myself. They're, uh, as you can see, they look uh, pretty much identical to default, it's, uh, including the overlay. Uh, I just um, uh, resized the overlay just to fit in these, part these potions, and they do look really nice. They look very simple, very uh, nice and HD. Not really HD, but yeah. So let's go into the particles, uh, let's just grab ourselves a sword, and spawn ourselves a villager. So uh, here are the uh, criticals, as you can see they are red, pinkish particles, and normally I don't really make particles like this, but I don't really have that many ideas for particles, so yeah, and then here are the sharpness, so together they look like this, there you go. So yeah, I do want this to be HG themed, so uh, comment down below things that I could change that would make this pack look a, li a bit nicer. So I did edit the blocks uh, here, the um, grass blocks. It does look a little bit dirty in my opinion, but um, I guess I could change that up later. Uh, comment down below what you think and uh, things like that. This is going to be pretty much inter an interactive pack. Uh, it's, go it's going to be shaped by you guys. So um, yeah, here are the ores. Uh, I did change this stone. It does look a little bit uh, more crusty and things like that, I guess you could say. And then I did overlay the uh, or the actual um, little ore particles on side of on it, and then I put a uh, nice gray outline on the out, so it's easier to see in game. Um, I also did edit the sand. Uh, it does look very similar to default, uh, but I just made it a little bit brighter and things like that. Uh, so let's just toss that there. Uh, the carrots and the potatoes. I did edit these. Uh, the carrots, uh, they look, the plant uh, stage, they look much brighter. So if we grab ourselves some uh, bone meal, I did it at all three, all four of the stages. So uh, stage one, stage two, uh, kind of skipped one, but oh well. You get the point. It's all really bright, so you can definitely tell which is which. So yeah. And then the potatoes, as you can see, they are much darker, so you can pretty much definitely tell which is which right when you zoom past a village or something like that. And then the mushrooms, uh, let's just grab the brown mushrooms, uh, there we go. Uh, if we just plop this down here, you can see that they are uh, very fat, very easy to hit. Uh, now, um, this is kind of a visual thing, uh, the hitboxes never change, but it's just on preferences, your brain uh, kind of, you know, when they see a big object, they usually uh, try to pinpoint towards the middle uh, rather than a smaller object, so there you go. Much easier to see and much easier to hit. But yeah, that's pretty much edit everything that I edited in the pack, I do believe, except for the low fire. I did edit that. Uh, I literally just uh, made the uh, bottom, I just cut off the bottom half just to make it a shorter. And you know what? It still works. So uh, yeah, it still looks pretty good. And also if we just go ahead and plant it down the ground, it doesn't uh, b obscure the, uh, you know, the flame image on it. So there you go. 
And I do believe that's everything that I edited in this pack. Like I said, this pack is going to be shaped by you guys. So comment down below what should I edit, what improvements that could be made to this pack. Now keep in mind, it does have to keep, uh, stay to the 16 by 16 theme. And uh, it does ha uh, try to keep it HG themed, like uh, maybe edit the um, the milk bucket. So it's something else. I don't really know. I'll have that up to you guys. But um, yeah, this is the pre-release of it. Uh, I'm still going to be working on it until I can get version one out. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. And uh, Pack Week Day uh, number 7 will be coming out tomorrow, the last day of Pack Week, uh, the finale. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.